where do you see the biggest changes coming for the next like 10 years? Like where do you, where do you think the league will be in 10 years? Um, well, one thing that's going to dictate a lot of change is the free agency rule. I believe um, there's going to be, I think more division between the haves and the have nots and teams that have money, have reputation, have, you know, the players you want to play with, people are going to want to get out of their situation and go play with them, and they're going to be recruited hard. Yeah. That's one thing. I think the international, the import rule, I think something's going to happen. I'm not sure if it's going to be no more imports, or there's, there's going to be some change there, I think. Um, I'll just give you an example. We went from like 17th to 8th this year because of one player. And, uh, you know, I, I've always been in favor of inclusion. So I'm not against it. I'm just, I think some people would be against it. Yeah, um, I, I think it's already like that now. Um. Other than that, I don't know, man. I don't have a crystal ball. I do think I agree with you, unfortunately in the United States, if we don't get our shit together and have a better way of preparing young athletes, we're going to have a dry spell. And who knows? Maybe that means we won't be on the podium. We should be. We have the most athletes in the world eligible to play. And we got the biggest um, league as well. But it's like you said, man, I mean, I don't have a crystal ball or a solution, but if we're not developing athletes all the time we're going to run into some hard times and i and i also think the fact that we can't um supplement or pay or in some way incentivize our athletes the way other countries do that's going to be an issue because to expect guys to be 24 7 365 rugby and yet give them a stipend every month that you know, would be the same as welfare is is not fair. Oh, it's it's, hard it's not do. even yeah. I mean, people that are panhandling are making way more. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I could have done. I know athletes back in the '90s that chose not to go to USA um, to international tournaments, and they would have made the team and not gone because they couldn't afford it, and they were too shy about fundraising. I did fundraising all the time. I, I had a great core group that helped me out. But, it's, dude, everything's expensive. Taking a plane anywhere is expensive and, you know, hotels and blah, 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 blah. It's, um, it's hard. It's hard. And, um, you know, if you don't have a sponsor or you're not independently wealthy or you're maybe not a vet or whatever the situation, it, it's, I think, going to, create more division between other countries and us and our athletes being able to get the proper training and play on, you know, those teams, especially with free agency. It's, it all is connected. I think 